Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick until the end of the video, where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. So I have 2 to the power of 16 minus 16. Now 16 here, this is the same thing as 8 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 8 times 2 minus 16. Now 8 times 2, well first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 8 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2 minus 16, I can rewrite as 4 squared. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 2 to the power of 8 squared minus 4 squared. In this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 8 and b is equal to 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 8 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 8 minus 4. Now 2 to the power of 8, well, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, so as you can see this just doubles, 2 to the power of 4 is double of 8, 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, 2 to the power of 7 is double 64 which is 128, and finally 2 to the power of 8, this is double of 128 which is 256. So now I have 256 plus 4 times 256 minus 4. Now 256 plus 4, that's going to be 260, times 256 minus 4, that's going to be 252. So now I have 260 times 252. Now I'm going to rewrite this as 260, we can rewrite as 250 plus 1, and 252 we can rewrite as 250 plus 2. Or sorry, 250 we can rewrite as 250 plus 10, and 252 we can rewrite as 250 plus 2. So now we have 250 plus 10 times 250 plus 2. So I'm going to first start by distributing the 250. So now this is equal to 250 times 250 plus 250 times 2. Now I can distribute the 10. So I have plus 10 times 250 plus 10 times 2. Now this is equal to... 250 times 250, well 25 times 25 is 625, so then we add, just add in these two extra zeros. Now 250 times 2 is 500, 70 times 250, or sorry, 10 times 250, that's 2500, and finally 10 times 2 is 20. So now we simply have to add all of these up. So 62,500 plus 500 is 63,000 plus 2,500 plus 20 is 2,520, and now this is equal to 20, I'm sorry, 65,520. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. Now, first off, 2 to the power of 20, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 times 2, because 20 is equal to 10 times 2. Now I have minus 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now, I have this minus 9, we can rewrite as 3 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and b is equal to 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now 2 to the power of 10, well 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2, and 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to double of 32, 64. 
2 to the power of 7, the secret double is 64, which is 128. 2 to the power of 8, double of 128, 256. 2 to the power of 9, double of 256, which is 512. Finally, 2 to the power of 10, which is double of 512, which is 1024. So now I have 1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. Now 1024 plus 3 is 1027 times 1024 minus 3 is 1021. Now 1027 we can rewrite as 1000 plus 27 and 1021 we can rewrite as 1000 plus 21. So now I have 1,000 plus 27 times 1,000 plus 21. And now we can solve this by distributing. I'll first distribute the 1,000. So I have 1,000 times 1,000 plus 21 times 1,000. Plus now if I distribute the 27, 20, 27 times 1,000 plus 27 times 21. Now 1,000 times 1,000 is going to be 1 million. So I have 1 million plus 21 times 1,000 is 21,000 plus 27 times 1,000 is 27,000 plus finally 27 times 21 is 567. Now if I add all these up, 21,000 plus 27,000, that is going to be 48,000. Plus 567 is 48,567. And now 1 million plus 48,567 is 1 million 48,567. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99. So 2 to the power of 100, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 99 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 99. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, for 2 to the power of 99 plus 1, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1, and then I have minus 2 to the power of 99 at the end. So now, because both these terms have 2 to the power of 99, if I factor out 2 to the power of 99, I get 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 99 is simply 2 to the power of 1, minus 2 to the power of 99 divided by 2 to the power of 99 is 1. So I have 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. Now, 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, well, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so I have 2 to the power of 99 times 2 minus 1. And 2 minus 1 is simply 1, so I have 2 to the power of 99 times 1. Anything times 1 is itself, so now I have 2 to the power of 99. And 2 to the power of 99, well, this is actually going to be a really big number because 2 to the power of 10 itself, this is equal to 1024. And 2 to the power of 9, this is equal to half of 1024, which is 512. So every time a new power of 2 comes, it's, it's going to be double of the previous power. So 2 to the power of 11, this would be double of this. 2 to the power of 12, that would be double of 2 to the power of 11. So on and on and on. So 2 to the power of 9, 99, this is going to be a really big number. So that's why this is the most that I can actually simplify 2 to the power of 99. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. So, my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. So, I'm going to first start with my equation, 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. And from here, I'm going to rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So I get 2 squared to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. Now, I can use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x 
is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x. So I have this minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. And now I can rewrite 2 to the power of 2x as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So I get 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. Now from here, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So if I substitute in y for 2 to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 240. And now I can subtract 240 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get y squared minus y minus 240 is equal to zero. So what I have here is a quadratic equation. And to find the solutions of this quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula. So if you guys already didn't know, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, looking over here, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 240. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 240 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this simplifies to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 960 over 2. And this turns into y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 961 over 2. So now the square root of 961 is 31. So I get y equals 1 plus or minus 31 over 2. And now I have two solutions. I have y equals 1 plus 31 over 2. And y equals 1 minus 31 over 2. So my two solutions are 17 and negative 15.